Today we're going through the last one of my beautiful ghost series, number six, and it is called From Me to You. Shall we dive in? Going into my room, looking at the clock. 12.30 p.m. it mocked. Throwing on my PJs and resting my crutches on the bottom of my bed so I can reach them in the morning. I went to bed. Tossing and turning, I couldn't get to sleep. My bedroom door suddenly creaked open and a light shone through it. Knowing I turned off all the lights, I decided to go and check. Grabbing both my crutches, I hobbled after the light. Wandering out, I saw the hall light was on. Knowing I was going mad for thinking I'd turned it off. Looking down the end of the hall, I noticed the mirror was crooked. Hobbling over to fix it, I noticed my reflection was strange. I was different. I looked like me, but older. I looked happy. I turned and looked away. Now I know I was going mad. The curiosity compelled me to look back though. I waved my hand in front of my face and she did the same. Confused and curious at the same time, I moved my hand to almost touch the mirror. As we both touched the mirror, she grabbed my, my hand, pulling me in to this room beyond. I sat at a table facing the other me, looking around, wondering where I was. The room was made of glass. There was nothing the other side of it. There were no doors or windows, just the frame that I came through. Don't be scared, she said, trying to ease the silence. Where am I? I said abruptly. You're safe, she, she replied. I didn't feel scared or even on edge. Who are you? I eventually asked. I'm you, the you you created for your future. I am the one you wanted to become. The one every decision you made was to create me. I sat in silence at her reply. She almost looked sad lost deep in thought. You said wanted. What do you mean? I questioned. It means, she paused, wondering what to say next. It means that I died, looking very confused and scared. I stared at her. A while ago now, she continued, you became ill didn't you? The sadness loomed the air, looking at my crutches on the floor next to me. You lost me, she said softly. You blame everything, the universe if you like, for what happened to you. Your anger and your pain, it makes you mis so miserable. Your anger and your pain, that's what makes you miserable, she paused, her, placing her hand on mine. What happened to you was no one's fault. It was just faulty genetics. You wanted so badly to become me, but you can't, she said. The girl you wanted to be is gone. I'm gone, and there's nothing you can do about it. So please, move on. Looking down at my crutches, you still can be happy. You will be happy again. You are still you, but being angry doesn't help. Grieve for me if you must, but move on. Looking up at me, she continued. I'm sorry you are hurting, she said, but I know you, but I know you well. You will have a bright future. You just don't know what, it, what she'll look like yet. She was looking at me now with a bright smile on her face. 
but her eyes looked sad. Almost like it, this was the last thing I needed to do. My last task. To let the person I had lived my whole life to become go. Suddenly a bright light shone into my eyes and I awoke in my bed. Looking round my room, I came to the conclusion it was all a dream. I know what my final task is. I know how to move on, move forward with my life. I have to let my impossible dreams go. I need to move forward. Smiling down at my crutches, as they are part of my life now, whether I like it or not. I know what my beautiful ghosts of my past are trying to tell me. I am living, I am loved, I am me, and nothing can change that. The end. I really hope you have enjoyed my Beautiful Ghost series, and yeah, go and check out my other videos if you haven't already. Bye!